the Coco channel and to another favorites video. July is over. Today is August 1st, which I know that this video is late, but the last week of July kind of escaped for me. Um, we did have visitors come back um, for a couple days, which were literally the last days of July, and so that's why this video is late. Um, but... We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm so tired and out of it, but um, we're going to get through this. So I'm not going to be a zombie. I'm going to be myself, and we're going to get through this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have a little bit of everything. I have some skincare. I have makeup. I have some fun things. Um, let's start off with hair care because I only have one thing, and it is from Living Proof. This was recommended to me by Shauna from The Love of Makeup. Um, this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Fresh Cut Split and Mender. Um, so it instantly seals and heals. Protection, um, oh, it's in another language. Um, so it helps with split ends if you are like me and you use heat, although I really haven't been the last two weeks just because it has been so humid anytime I straighten or curl my hair it literally just goes off and does its own thing but when I do use heat you use this before and after or you can do one or the other you know what I mean but me being the OCD that I am about my hair um I do both it seriously you can tell a difference in your hair I have like zero split ends right now which is amazing because it has been a little while since I got a haircut you guys can tell like how much longer my hair has gotten since my chop chop um, hair day so um, this stuff is amazing again this is a favorites video which I know in June I didn't link everything below because June was a really crazy month too. This summer has been insane with traveling and stuff, but I promise you I'm going to link everything down below. So uh, this stuff is amazing if you are a person who uses heat on your hair. Um, okay, next up. Let's jump into makeup and let's start off with makeup applicators. This is so random. Um, this is the Beauty Blender Mini, and I actually use this for my color corrector just because um, I use the green color corrector. If you have been on my channel, you guys know that I have a lot of redness in my skin, and I also get those like occasional breakouts. Like I have a little friend hanging out right here. I have a little friend hanging out right here. Um, and so I also have a lot of redness around my nose area. And so on the days where I'm like kind of going like full coverage um, I do go in with my Urban Decay skin corrector in the green and so I always like to go in with a separate sponge just because I don't want that green getting into you know what I mean what I use the sponge for which is like my um, concealers or setting powders or anything like that and this one is just like the perfect size because obviously I don't use it all on my whole entire face and so it's just like the perfect size and I know a lot of people use this for like setting under their eyes because it's like the perfect size and stuff like that so this thing really is a lifesaver I don't know how much the, uh, these are I believe I got this in a subscription box but it seriously is the cutest little thing I had two but one has gone into the abyss that little things go into so I would definitely repurchase these though I absolutely love these um I want to talk about another um, makeup applicator this benefit bronzer brush I was on the hunt for um every larger youtuber got this sent to them as a PR from benefit and it is so freaking soft it applies bronzer like flawlessly it really does it's not patchy it doesn't look gross or anything like that it's so soft and can we just talk about how cute it is it looks like a little bamboo shoot and it's like green and black bristles which I know you know color usually you're like why would you do that it's just gonna look all dirty and gross but I really really love this brush so I'm gonna find it and link it down below it is a little bit pricey for a brush but I really really wanted it because every time I saw one of the larger you know people using it it just looked so soft and it doesn't shed and their bronzer always looked really really nice to whereas I was kind of having some issues with bronzer where it was like looking a little patchy and you know what I mean so I'm just really really glad that I got this 
Okay, another primer that I want to talk about that for some reason I never used, I have a sample of. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. My pores are like pretty much non-existent when I use this. Um, you can like barely even see them. You can see them a little bit, but this stuff seriously smooths the other ever living you know what out of your skin. So I'm definitely going to hop on Sephora and um, use this. I was like going through my stuff because I sent out some packages this week um, and I went through like all of my samples and everything and this was in there and I was like, I don't know why I don't break the this stuff out I need to use my samples more and so this was like a either a point perk or like a promo code you know what I mean and so this stuff really was good okay um let's talk about uh oh I should have done my one skincare item <sighs> this Sunday Riley good jeans brightening refining plumping exfoliating Evens hyperpigmentation, increases circulation for instant radiance. This is literally, you guys have heard me talk about this so much. It's literally Botox in a bottle. Look at how much I've already used. Like, it makes me want to cry how much I've used. But I can seriously notice a difference in my skin. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but like this line right here used to be so much deeper just with like a straight face this line was so deep and I don't know if you guys can tell these lines were really really deep in between my eyebrows and with a straight face like you can barely even see them I don't know if you guys can even see them on camera or not but they're like almost non-existent and I've been using this for like maybe two three weeks no it's been about it's been actually about a month because I got this I remember I bought this I got this for my anniversary which was June 27th so it's been a month and like these lines are fading away so it's seriously Botox in a bottle if you're a person that's not a fan of needles you know what I mean or you want to spend a little bit less money Sunday Riley good jeans I'm gonna link it down below you can find it at Sephora it is pricey that's all I'm going to say. Click on the link. I'm not going to say how much it is because my parents watch these videos and if I say it out loud, they might poop their pants. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Foundation. I don't think I showed this to you guys in a haul because I was doing like the vlog thing and I was like I need to hold off on hauls and it was just like something that I picked up on my way out of the BX. It was. Um, so this is the Almay Smart Shade. This stuff is really impressive. Um, I know that I think Tati was the one that did a video on it, but actually Nicole from Young Wild and Polish, who you guys know is like one of my favorite people in the world. Not that I even know her, but just to watch and like you know what I mean? You can just tell by her personality. She's super chill and anyways. She was the one who was like, oh my gosh, it's really good. So I had got the shade Light Medium because I have been self-tanning. And it also has an SPF of 15, which is awesome. Um, so this stuff is so crazy. So it comes out like this. So it's white. And then it has like all of these like little dark beads in it. So this is what it looks like and then as soon as you start working it in it like goes to the color of your skin and it feels just like a lotion like you could literally get away with this if you were like in a hurry like say doing your makeup in the car or something you could seriously get away with this like using your hands like applying it with your hands you know what I mean like a moisturizer. So it literally just goes to the skin uh, color of your skin tone and it has like a really good coverage. The only thing that I want to say if you have not purchased this is to be very careful about applying it um, after like a moisturizer because or like to be careful of what primer you're using. I used, I can't even remember what base it was, but oh, it was a Smooth Affair, no, what was it? So I have this Diamond Heart um, base primer that I got in, I think a BoxyCharm, and it has like a little bit of a white 
base to it because it's an illuminator, you know, and I put that on it and it turned stark white because it's going to match, you know what I mean, like whatever that technology is. So it was like stark white. So I had to literally wash everything off and start all over again. And I had to use a different primer that was like colorless. Um, so just be careful of what you're putting underneath it, which it probably sounds like common sense, you know what I mean? But I really wasn't thinking about it. I thought, I don't know. I have one blush that I want to talk about. You guys are probably like, this is so old. Like, everybody already knows all about these rose blushes from Milani, but I did not own any of these. And I bought two of them, but for some reason, this one is 01 Romantic Rose. It's just like that subtle hint, and um, it's like that dusty pink color and I just I'm really getting into the more subtle rather than like boom I'm wearing blush you know what I mean like today I'm just wearing like kind of a peachy color I really 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 love that blush a lot um, I feel like this is gonna be an everyone's favorite video this month or for July um, I have been using this non-stop you can create so many looks with this if you wanted just like a neutral look if you wanted to pop some pink in there plus probably one of my favorite eyeshadow singles of all time not just like from Anastasia but from all time is in here Buon Fresco and I never know if I'm saying that correctly but it is the most gorgeous color like this is seriously made for me this color blonde fresco I absolutely love it it's like a gray pink love this color especially like just through the crease and then just like a little bit of a shimmer on the lid like that's a look boom done you know what I mean it's such an easy quick look so I love this color so 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 much um and just this palette is gorgeous and the shadows are creamy and they blend beautifully I just absolutely love it love it and let's just keep going on the Anastasia train shall we I got my very first glow kit last month and I had to throw it in here just because I feel like it was a coming into you know what I mean like coming into age or something you know I feel like everybody has almost all of them and I just like finally got my very first one and I did get the gleam one um and every single color in here is absolutely gorgeous and right up my alley <sighs> they're just gorgeous 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 shades I am wearing this today I have starburst on my um, cheekbones which is this one at the top I just I love pink highlighters I know they're not for everyone but I absolutely love them which is why I picked the gleam kit for my very first one I would because I am a collector, especially of highlighters, love to own every single one of them. Trust me, I would. Um, okay, so next up we have lip products. And you guys are going to be very surprised because not a single one of them are lipsticks. I think because it's been so hot that I haven't been wearing like liquid lipsticks at all. I've been just like tossing on a gloss because I'm so terrified because not only is it hot, it's incredibly humid here, you guys. Like I'm talking like 70% and I have a lot of my girls here that are like from Texas and like down in the south that are probably like when they hear me say humid, they're probably in their minds telling me to shut the hell up. But I'm telling you guys like it's in the 90s and we have like 70% humidity putting our real feel like well over 100 degrees you know what I mean so I'm terrified that my lipstick's gonna be like bleeding and transferring and just getting gross so I have a few glosses that I want to talk about and you guys know I am really not a gloss person I have like a few glosses that are like my holy grails that I've been using for years and years but I have discovered some new ones that I am absolutely in love with Two of which are from Buxom. If you guys remember from that l giant Ulta haul that I did not, uh, last, was it last week? Um, we got a free gift from Buxom that had like an eyeshadow, a mascara, and a couple of lip products. Both of the glosses are amazing. I know now. I now know why these are cult favorites. So these are the plumping glosses, which totally freaked me out because I hate plumping things. I'm not a fan of the stinging and the, you know what I mean? I just, 
yes, I want bigger lips. Who doesn't want bigger lips? But I don't like that feeling because I've had some doozies, you know what I mean? Where when I first was getting into the makeup game and they had them and they were like intense, like burning, like even if you scrubbed your lips off, like you could not get that feeling to go away. But these are so mild that it's almost just like a little bit of a peppermint. You know what I mean? Like when you're sucking out a peppermint, and you like breathe in and you kind of get that sensation. That's almost what it feels like. It's not anything intense. So this one is White Russian, which you can hardly even see. But it's a beautiful topper if you had something underneath it. You know what I mean? Like say if you had a liquid lipstick, but you don't want that drying feeling, you know what I mean? Or that drying sensation if it's already so hot outside, this is a beautiful topper. And I know you have seen and heard millions of people talk about this, especially the larger YouTubers. Like, White Russian is definitely one of those cult favorites. It's just like a beautiful milky pink color. Um, and then the next one is the one that I'm actually wearing today, which is Dolly. Um, and this one is like a really pretty berry color and it actually has some gold micro shimmer in it but it doesn't feel like it on the lips and you can't really see it you can like unless you're looking it at the bottle like see in there you can kind of see the glitters but here is the swatch right there it's not too bad um, I don't like it doesn't look glittery or kind of trashy you know what I mean like I'm not a fan of like the glitter on the lips I don't know maybe not trashy trashy is not the right word because there are people out there who like glitter I'm sure okay and then the next one is also something that I received for free and this is from YSL this is a latent oil um this is number five and I have been wearing this thing to death. It's this really gorgeous pink, and this is a stain. So it goes on, and it's like a really pretty pink, and then as it sits there, it starts getting darker and darker, and you get more color. See how it's like getting more and more intense in color and in pigment? And then even when you wipe the oil away, you still have that color, so you don't have to worry about it bleeding, you don't have to worry about anything, and you're still gonna have some color on your lips so if you're out to eat, or you know what I mean, if you have an event and you're drinking, or something like that, you know what I mean? Not that anybody's like alcoholics over here, but you know what I mean. That is it for makeup. I do, I'm not gonna do songs this time because I don't wanna sit here and bore you guys with me dancing around and singing, um, but I do wanna show you guys a game that I have been up obsessed with on my phone um, because it's so much fun and I am literally not a gamer like I do not play video games I don't do phone games like a phone game to me was like snake back in the day on my Nokia phone like that's about as phone games as I get or solitaire back in the day which I didn't even I don't even have that on my phone um, so this I found out from her real name is Meg but her YouTube channel, her beauty one is called Chow Bella XO. And then her vlog one is like La Vida de Meg, I think. And so she had a vlog and was talking about it. And so this is called Best Fiends. And it's like all of these little animals that you build up on different levels. I'm already on level 57. Um, and it's kind of like bejeweled almost. Like, you have different goals. So on this one, I have to get 75 purple, 75 green, and 75 yellow. So you, like, connect all of the little things. You know what I mean? Some of them, you have to, like, kill a certain amount of slugs. Some of them, you have to, like, break open a certain amount of boxes. And Anyways, um, it's addicting, so it's free, it's on Apple and Android, it's called Best Fiends. Again, I'm going to put it down below, but it's really, really, really good. And I want to tell you a Netflix show that you probably have already seen because it is trending hardcore to the max right now, and that is called Stranger Things. Um, number one, I grew up in the 80s, I was 
not grew up in the 80s. I was born in 87, I'm, <laughs> but I grew up on 80s movies. Like I grew up on The Goonies and E.T. and they like have a lot of those elements incorporated into this show and it's also set into the 80s and it's like 80s to the max. Like from the outfits to the home decor to just like everything everything like we noticed the smallest details like to the they had like a vhs tape holder that like my husband's parents had like the same exact one and there was like a poster on the wall that like my brother had that same exact poster like just like really really small i like small details were exactly the same so if you like sci-fi fantasy and it is literally addicting like we were binge watching it me and my sister-in-law like we had to keep going we just had to keep going and we i think she left already and they're gonna finish it i know it's probably they probably are gonna finish it today because we watched five and there's only eight episodes so just saying and it is like trending hardcore to the max right now so that is it for my july favorites i hope you guys enjoyed Oops. I hope you guys enjoyed this month's favorites. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Brittany Coco and you are watching the Coco channel. I hope you guys had a fantastic month of July. May August be even better and even more prosperous for everyone. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.